that was Danish. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first English edition of Sommer's World Literature to Go. As everyone knows, the 23rd of April is the day of German beer, which is why my cast and I have come up with a clever idea of presenting to you the story of a Danish student who probably drank a glass or two while studying in Wittenberg, Germany. Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, starring... Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, a kind of gothic guy who wears black all the time and hates his uncle's parties and... His uncle Claudius throws quite a lot of parties. He's recently succeeded Hamlet's father Hamlet, it's a small country, they can't afford so many names, on the throne and for good measure has married Gertrude, Hamlet's mother, who is very much flattered by his attention. Then there is Polonius, a kind of counselor who seems to have helped Claudius to the throne and might be the head of the Danish secret service, but that's secret, who's got a son, Laertes, who takes very much after his father and studies in Paris and a daughter named Ophelia, who is little more than a teenager with a fatal crush for Danish princes wearing black clothes, and the closest thing Hamlet has to a friend, Horatio. But he's a musician, which explains why he's so friendly. Now, the king is dead, long live... Well, Hamlet thought he was the next in line, but he was, unfortunately, in Wittenberg when his father died, 800 kilometers away, and when he came to the court, all was said and done. His mother had married his uncle, who succeeded his father as king, which very much pisses Hamlet off. So on the next day, after the coronation, the funeral and the wedding, there's a kind of press conference in the big hall with the king and the queen and the councillor and, of course, Laertes, the little sucker. And the king goes, ladies and gentlemen, it's such a th sad thing my brother's dead, but hey, Life goes on. So, what's the next thing on the agenda? And Polonius goes, well, there's this guy in Norway who, yeah, yeah, okay, Laertes, uh, yeah, jolly good of you to come by to my coronation, but I know you want to go back to university, so off you hop to Paris and say hello to the Moulin Rouge from me. He goes, Your Majesty, and goes off. And now Hamlet, uh, yeah, I know you want to go back to Wittenberg to university, but I've decided you can't, sorry. You're heir apparent, and that's why you need to stay here. Gertrude, uh, yeah? Uh, we need to rain a little more. Come on, ha! Ah! Go off. Hamlet remains heir apparent, asshole. And mum too. Frailty, thy name is woman. I want to be king. Yo, Hamlet, uh, Horatio, um, I don't know how to say this. I've seen your father's ghost. What? I've seen your father. Yeah, I understood. Where was that? Last night on the battlements. Oh, I need to see that too. Would the night were come? And the night falls quickly in Elsinore, and we are on the battlements around about midnight. And Horatio wanders off, when suddenly the man with the iron mask comes in, who seems to have caught a cold. <sighs> Obi-Wan never told you what really happened to your father. I am your father, Luke. Uh, Hamlet. What? Yeah. Uh, revenge my foul and most unnatural murder. The serpent that did sting thy father's life now wears his crown. My uncle. Yeah, exactly. So now you take my sword and, like a good boy, kill your uncle. And, yeah, uh, forgot. And he is off. And Hamlet goes, wow, there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. Horatio? Uh, yeah. Uh, then I dreamt off in your philosophy, but uh, now I'll play... What? Uh, yeah, I'll play mad now. And in the great hall, Ophelia is wandering around. I'm so in love with Hamlet when her father comes in. Ophelia? Uh, yeah, Daddy? Laertes tells me you're fooling around with Hamlet. Oh, is that true? Yeah, that's stopping immediately. Copy? But, but he's mad for me, and he's a prince, and he's wearing black all the time, so gothic. Off you go to your chamber and shut it. She goes off, and Polonius goes, Aha, mad for love. Well, that explains something. In. Oh, my lord, what do you read? Read? Uh, swords? 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 Ha <laughs> ha! If this be madness, yet there's a method in it. And Ophelia comes back. Daddy, daddy! Oh, hi, Hamlet. Yeah? Uh, the actors are here. Actors? Go to your room and close and shut the door. And Hamlet is enthusiastic. Actors, cool! The play is the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. I love the theatre. They go round with their fancy costumes and props all the time and go to be or not to be. Ha! Ophelia, do you always have to sneak around like this? I was going to soliloquize. I'm sorry. 
Go on. It's a soliloquy, stupid. You have to leave me. Why is everyone so mean to me? And the king comes. Oh, how, will you put that weapon down kindly? Because uh, uh, what's it with this theater? Yeah, sit down. There's going to be a theater performance in a moment. And the king sits down, and the queen comes, obviously, and um, all the court. And Hamlet seems to know the players, probably from Germany, because there are so many theatres around there. And there's the player king, or I'm the player king, and the brother to the player king. I'm the brother to the player king, and I'm now killing my brother. <laughs> ah! And then marrying his loving wife, the queen. We are married now. How do you like it, uncle? Poor impudence! And the king storms off, and the rest storms off, and the queen goes, You come to my bedroom immediately, Hamlet. And Hamlet says, Yeah, I knew it! In the queen's bedroom, nosy Mr. Polonius has to hide himself in order to keep an eye on things. So the queen is there, and then Hamlet storms in, and she goes, Hamlet, thou hast thy father much offended. Mother, you have my father much offended, and it doesn't get better when he hides behind the curtains here. So Hamlet goes, Sting! And Polonius goes, ah, oh, dead. Oh, uh, I didn't want that. Ah, help! And the king comes in and says, Hamlet, was that you? Um, you take this letter now. Here, take it to the king of England. Immediately. And without pudding. Off you go. And uh, then he turns to the camera and says, ha ha. In that letter, I asked the King of England to execute Hamlet on arrival. Good thing to be a king. And then he turns to console his queen. Oh, that must have been very traumatic for you. And in what seems no time, Ophelia storms in. I'm mad! I'm mad! I am dead! That was sudden. And the scene shifts to a graveyard where we meet a member of the lower classes digging. We're on a highway to hell. And Hamlet steps in and says, Hello everyone, I'm not dead. As you see, I sent my old pals Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to get killed instead of me. Nice one, eh? Oops! Uh, there was no grave before here, was it? What's this? And he picks up a uh, skull and says, Oh, I love this gothic shit. Uh, who are you, you digging this grave for, man? He says, Oh, your highness, I didn't recognize you. I'm digging this grave for... Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, five o'clock, time to knock off. I'm a unionist. But Hamlet doesn't need to wait long for his question to be answered because the funeral takes place immediately. And there's the king and the queen and the whole court and, to Hamlet's surprise, Laertes as well. But um, that riddle is solved when they lay Ophelia in the grave. And Laertes goes, oh, my poor sister Ophelia, that's all Hamlet's fault. And Hamlet leaps forth from his hiding place and says, drop it, will you? You never gave a shit about her. You looking for trouble? Yeah, I'm looking for trouble. Okay, let's, you'll give us rapiers. And the king goes, uh, but not outside here. Someone might fall into the grave and hurt themselves. So they shift into the great hall. And here Laertes and Hamlet duel with rapiers. Uh, Laertes being the favorite because he's studying in France. And they go, bang, 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 bang. Peaks. Yeah, one. Ouch. Uh, not bad, eh? And they change sides and go, bang, 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 bang. Peaks. Ouch. Two. Not bad, eh? And the queen takes a drink that's prepared there and goes, cheers, Hamlet. That was very good. Uh, Gertrude, do not drink this. Why? Well, well, ah, oh, dies. And Hamlet, mother. And Laertes goes, peaks! And Hamlet goes, ouch, you asshole, that was so unfair. And is there poison on that weapon? Ha, ha, ha. Bang, 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 change rapiers and chick. Ah, oh, die, it was the king. What, the king? Um, I think I've got another appointment now. You stay here, kills the king, which, ah. Oh. And then, ah, oh, I'm dying, poison. The rest is... And Horatio steps in and over the dead body of his friend plays a very sad tune on his trumpet. When there's a knock on the door. Hello, anybody home? Oh, uh, hi, it's uh, Cousin Fortinbras from Norway. Oh, funny, there's a crown lying around there. Picks up the crown. <laughs> nice. So I'm king of Denmark now, am I? You there? Uh, yeah. Get me a drink. Uh, what do you want, a tubok? Not a Tuborg. I will drink a nice German beer now. And so it came to pass that the Hamlets died out and the Fortinbrasses ascended to the Danish throne. <laughs> 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 <laughs>